Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And one of the things that I have talked about regularly over time is a website here called Have I Been Pond, which is what Facebook, what Google, what a lot of providers actually use to check if your passwords are secure. So Have I Been Pond is a, a website that tells you if one of your emails um, corresponds to an account that has been breached. What does that mean? That means that, for example, if here I will enter the email that I use on Windows and you check if it's spawned and here it tells you that there are three there are some websites that actually have had a data breach with that email address that's used as an account so that means the email itself is not what is pawn your email is safe your email is correct what is pawned is the websites that they tell you here so daily motion in this case there's one with data enrichments exposure from PDL customer, and there's one from Dropbox. So uh, basically, um, the first one is Daily Motion is a known one. Dropbox, of course, also is known. The uh, one in the middle, data enrichment exposure, is um, kind of telling you that some of the data has been scooped up, and that your unique email has been um, scooped up within that. It's not a website per se. It's really just a checking out the um, if your email has been uh, scooped up somewhere. So that means that your email, like I said, is not what is compromised. What is compromised is the information on these websites. Why it's important? Because a lot of people use the same passwords everywhere. So that means if you have been pawned and you use the same e email everywhere, then it's possible that other accounts can be compromised, including your email. So you change your passwords of these accounts. So whatever website you see here, change the password when you have been breached. Some have asked me, if I close the account, is it okay? Yep, you can close the account. Perfect, no problem there. Where the uh, problem lies, like I said, is if you use the same passwords everywhere, then you will need to change your passwords everywhere because that means they have a password they have a email it's often what you need to log in to accounts uh, so that's the important thing about this uh, some are saying that they see websites that they've never been to that say that uh, they've been pawned in you know um, your emails are scooped everywhere um, a lot of people are telling me well you know yeah right I'm gonna enter my email here your email is not private your email is public it is seen everywhere and when you send an email it's scooped up everywhere why do you think you're receiving spam it ain't coming by magic it was sent to your email that tells you that your emails out there stop thinking it is private it is not it's sort of one of the problems that a lot of people think is one of the super private thing that you never give anybody else except your friends your email is public everywhere. It's been scooped up everywhere. Your bots have it everywhere. That's the reason you're getting spam. So the uh, email, also when you enter it here, all you're entering is an email. There's no way of hacking you with that email unless you don't secure your accounts correctly, you don't have two-factor authentication, things like that. And... Um, the last but not least that uh, I, it comes back all the time, people come back here and say, well, you know, I'm still pawn. No, it's what it's telling you is that in the past, you have your email was scooped up somewhere and that it was in compromised accounts of these websites. If you change everything, it ain't fixing this because this is telling you that it happened in the past. It ain't going to change and come back green. It's not a live thing. They have no idea at all that you change your password. It's not what this website's all about. This website's all about telling you, hey, 
your email was cooped up in data breaches of these websites in the past. Once you change your password or close your accounts and stuff like that, there is no problem. And if your email password is different from all of these accounts, passwords, your email is safe. Your email is not, once again, what is compromised. What is compromised is the accounts that are created with that email that you have, and that's it. So it's up to you to actually, you know, close the accounts or change the passwords. But your email itself is not compromised unless the email that you use has the same password as the websites that were compromised. Then you're in trouble because now they can actually access your email. Better change your password fast. So that's what it's all about. I'll share the link to this page. But like I said, this is what Google, Facebook, uh, Microsoft, a lot of uh, services use to check if, you know, by any chance, maybe you could be in trouble. In some cases here, your passwords are in the clear. That's why Google and uh, Microsoft Edge can actually tell you that you're not secure because it can see that the emails you enter with the passwords you enter are in databases that have been scooped up. That's why you got to change your password. If you change, uh, if you change, if you like my, my, uh, Videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.